My name is Jay Levitt, and I am the CEO, founder of Lofta. Lofta is a unique company. We started about four years ago, and we're unique in that we are, we have set out to revolutionize the journey for the screening, testing, diagnosis, and ultimate treatment of sleep apnea and other sleep breathing disorders through the leverage of technology. We have created what we like to call an end-to-end -end experience, and um, Lofta has branded that as the Lofta Complete Path. What we've done is we've put together a, um, a service, if you will, that can be accessed through technology, through the internet, whereby uh, patients can essentially enroll in our program. We started to do business with Itamar very early um, in the inception of our company, and as a company, they've really been unwavering in their support of Lofta and what we are doing. Clearly, the Itamar WatchPat devices are a critical piece to creating an end-to-end -end journey that's virtual that patients can fully self-administer from home. We try to strive for the gold standard, and um, the WatchPat One, you know, clearly met that uh, that standard. When Lofta was started, that uh, disposable device did not exist. So, uh, as a company, we started out and for quite, uh, for at least a couple years, used the non disposable device, um, which worked very well, but it had inherently, it created some friction in our process. We are looking to move people from initial discovery through diagnosis and onto therapy as quickly as possible. With a non disposable device, you have certain friction that's inherently added by the use of that device. As good as the device is, the patient has to return the device back to Lofta in order for us to get the data off the device, get that to a sleep physician for interpretation, medical directives, etc. So from a business standpoint, the non-disposable device created extra lift for us because we had to get to these devices back. Secondly, it extended the length of time for diagnosis because we not only had the shipping of the de non-disposable device to the patient, but we had the shipping of the device back to us, and it inherently created friction in the process. There were a number of reasons that we moved over to the disposable device. One was for hygiene and safety reasons, because the non-disposable device during COVID required, we had to quarantine the device when it came back prior to being able to download data, which just added more time onto the process. Shipping times have been extended during COVID, as we all know, it takes longer to get shipments. That added time onto the process. So moving to the disposable device allowed us um, as a company to really accelerate the process because literally with the disposable device, the next day when the patient wakes up, Within moments, we have all of their data uh, transmitted to us through the cloud. So we no longer had all of the time that the uh, added to the process for getting a non-disposable device returned to us. We also removed concerns, obvious concerns and um, justifiable concerns that patients had about you know COVID transmission and devices that were used by other patients. So having a device that's only used by that patient, I think gave our uh, patients a lot of added peace of mind. The other thing that we noticed with the not with the disposable device, which was really interesting, and um, a uh, unintended consequence of using the disposable device, is that we found that the quicker you can pull people through diagnosis, the better efficacy and compliance they will have on therapy. We never connected the dots that that would happen, but we now know for certain that the quicker you can pull someone through the diagnosis journey and get them on therapy, the more successful they will be um, ultimately on therapy, which is a really welcome and interesting um, yet unexpected outcome of moving to the disposable device. One of the questions that comes up frequently about at-home sleep testing devices that are self-administered by the patient is how those devices stand up to what we'll call full lab workups and how they stand up in terms of reliability uh, for diagnosis. 
And we are confident that the Itamar WatchPat products, whether they be the disposable or non-disposable devices, are very reliable, are very responsible, and are a very credible means um, of diagnosis. And you don't have to take it from me because of course Itamar has a lot of white papers and has done a lot of, of their own research to compare the, um, the effectiveness of their devices next to full lab workups. And the WatchPat One, because of its design um, uh, and how it works, is um, a exceedingly easy device to use. There's no necessity for flow sensors, so individuals are not having to place uh, nasal cannulas around their face. Um, they're not having to put effort sensors around their chest. Lofta wanted, you know, part of what we do is we're creating a simple, quick, efficient journey end-to-end -end for the diagnosis and treatment of sleep apnea. So if we insert a sleep testing device that uses effort sensors around the chest and nasal cannulas and et cetera, then we're really just adding friction to that process. So it was a no-brainer for Lofta um, to use the Itamar WatchPad device. It's the right device for Lofta. It's the right device for our customers. Um, and we are completely exclusive to Itamar.